terminal. Good for a test drive. So these battery mounts come ready to, they're wired and ready to just install onto any any bike frame really. I'm gonna take this part off first. That's This part is gonna attach the plate to the frame mount. So really you just gotta take off one side and then there's two inserts here depending on the thickness of the frame you're using go ahead and use this thinner one Put one on the bottom slide it underneath the hand grip area I kind of get on get it on there. They're good. All right, and then we're going to push this about an inch from here is where we want it to sit. I figured out that an inch from here still lets you have access to this handle area. So I kind of want to stand it straight. Make sure it's centered. Scoot this up a little bit more. And then now I'll just tighten this down. I like hand tightening these just because uh, any electric tool can strip out can strip out those threads if you go too crazy at least this you can really feel it out just kind of switch back and forth the key is getting this straight and secure as possible If you strip it out, that definitely defeats the whole purpose. So just make sure you hand tighten this. All right, now the square side goes on the square square end. All right, that's going to be better. Finally, we're gonna mount this thing here. Kind of like to get all my wires kind of to the left, to the left side. Because this is gonna tuck underneath here and then connect where the battery used to be. So all the hardware you need is gonna be supplied. These longer screws here are going to come with a lock washer and a fender washer. So you want to make sure this fender washer is against this surface and the lock washer is between the screw head and the flat washer. Those lock washers are really important because you know, bikes vibrate when you ride them, so screws can come undone. Have to get both of them started. Get them to sit flat.
because you want to really hand tighten them and you don't want to crank down with too much force you just want to be able to pull it until you you feel some good resistance but don't force it beyond that so that's on there good all right and the last step is we're gonna drill a hole and I'm just gonna use a quarter 20 you really don't need that big of a hole so an inch up inch and a half Then, so I'll make that hole there and then I use some some dikes and I just kind of clip out the rest of it. And then that should fit right through there. Perfect fit. All right now when you put this cover back on you want to make sure you're not pinching any any wires and if it's not sealing flush you gotta check in here seeing what's the deal what's the deal Something in the way. Alright, so. There it goes. Alright, we start putting these screws back in. Actually, you always want to make sure. Everything works before you seal it up. So here's our batteries popped in just like that. Lights come on. Everything's spinning. That works. Now we can get all these screws back in. And you can just kind of tuck these wires here. If you want to zip tie them, you can. All the little inserts are going back in. All the inserts are the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All seven. There's seven inserts, little rubber inserts. This one at the very front is the only different one. The rest of them are all the same. All right, and that's how you do it. Turn on, look for a test drive. You'll notice here, you know, when I'm pedaling, there's enough clearance. Let me show you. There's enough clearance. That's ready to roll.